we've talked a lot as a team about our defense and how much we need to improve defensively. And um, the number we've been talking about with our group is that really good teams can hold, hold opponents under 59 sometimes. And um, so that was one of our goals. Last year, we were able to hold seven opponents under 59. And uh, so this is the first time we've done it this season. I really felt good about our mentality about that last night because uh, I got a text from Javante after 11 o'clock saying that someone held Valparaiso under, you know, to fewer than 59 points. So uh, I think our guys really got the message from these last few days. Uh, and this was certainly our best defensive effort of the year. It was something that we have talked about over the last few days. And um, Jesse was one that we really did target because he has the ability. He has the athleticism and the physicality where he can be a good rebounder. And so really pleased with his ability to go get the ball. Where did you play the early game tonight? Is that something you Well, I think it makes sense simply with, um, you know, we're going to play one of these two teams who's playing next, we're going to play them tomorrow. And uh, just, I've got a lot of experience with these tournaments where you play three games in three nights or you play back-to-back -back nights. And I think it's always, um, I think it's advantageous to play the first game when possible. Yes, it's, um, <clears throat> it's going pretty well. And uh, I'm just glad to be back with Coach Neubauer. Um, especially from being at East Kentucky, uh, red shirt, and um, just being under his coaching uh, staff, and I'm just happy to be back around him. How comfortable were you out there tonight? Um, I was very comfortable, just um, playing my game, attacking, um, defending, rebounding. So I, I was very comfortable out there. Eleven for eleven from the line for you tonight. Is that something you're looking to do all year? Just get to the line? Were you surprised how many times you got there? All in the first half. Um, I, I really wasn't surprised because um, that's something we, we do uh, as a team. We practice uh, making consecutive free throws uh, towards the end of practice, and that's just um, something I do. I attack, and hopefully I uh, get fouled, and hopefully I make the shot. So my mindset was just attacking their defense and getting them in foul trouble early. Um, us shooting threes? Um, Yes, simply meaning I think we had a lot of good looks, and, and we will make a lot more of those shots as this season progresses. Um, so we didn't have a great shooting night tonight, but when we guard like that, we can still win. And that's the whole message to our team is it's about our defense. It's about guarding and really being committed to defense. And then when you do that, you're going to have great nights when you shoot it, and you're going to have some wins when you don't shoot it. And tonight was one of those nights where we didn't even have to shoot the ball great, and we won by um, double figures. Is there any concern about some of the fouling problems you had earlier? Well, that's one thing early in the season that uh, guys have to adjust to. Just meaning, um, you know, we do play a very aggressive style, and so it's our job to learn from the officials. And I thought Antoine Anderson just did a terrific job. He probably ended up with two fouls, but he was on the ball, and um, he put pressure on the ball. Uh, the entire night, and he forced Jiggets, who's a very good college point guard, into nine turnovers. Coach, you mentioned how pleased you were with only giving up 55 points, but both of their starting forwards had double doubles in the game. Are you okay with that as long as your guards are locking their guards down? Yeah, we really don't look at individual stats very often. Um, it's about our team. And so when guys really understand that and they understand it's about winning, um, that goes a long way. So do they have good players? And did two of them have double-doubles? Sure, yeah. And we're going to play teams all year that have really good players. And some guys may get double figures. But when we hold teams to 55 points, we're going to have a chance to win. When you, when you finish this, this great game, uh, We've got one game left in our season. That's tomorrow at 3 o'clock. That, that's actually a great question. There is so much to learn about a college basketball team this time of year. And so we've been learning about each other for the last six weeks of practice. We've learned from the last from our two scrimmages and now three games. And so we're making adjustments. Um, 
We've adjusted our defensive scheme several times, and we're only in game three. We have a lot to learn about this group and how we can be effective and efficient. And um, so we continue to learn from our guys through practice, but these games, they're the most telling.